We have been joined via Zoom by an award-winning gospel musician. She's also a writer, and she's been passionate about writing and singing for God. Uh, we've been joined via Zoom by Maureen Biniam. Good afternoon to you. Maureen, I hope you can hear us. If Maureen can unmute can for us. You. Okay, okay yeah. great. Uh, Maureen, I mean, you are not based here in Ghana, but you're also doing uh, Ghanaian gospel music. How are you able to more or less promote your song to the Ghanaian market? Well, I, uh, this, what is happening right now is an mm. example. Right. Um, thank God for my, my promoter. Um, yes, those of us here, it's a little challenging, but um, if you have the right people to work with, mm. um, you should be able to have some work done, even though you're here. But I still think that it's more impactful to be able to come to Ghana, to go back home and, you know, do some more um, impactful promotions. It's, it's always better to be physically at home to do this but um if we are not able to do that we you know we are very thankful for um an occasion like this where i'm all the way in the u.s but i'm able to talk to you okay like great I'm home in ghana that's good and i i know you've been doing this for a while but i mean for people who do not know much about more though we know you are doing gospel music please tell us more about yourself and what you do Yes, um, thank you. So I am, uh, I'm a psalmist. I'm a psalmist. I'm a worship leader. I'm a pastor's wife. Um, I'm blessed okay. with four beautiful children. Um, I have, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no we're, 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 we're excited. <laughs> right. You know, you listen all that. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, um, we are blessed with four beautiful children. Um, my husband is Pastor Stephen Biniam. Uh, we have a ministry here called Glory Light Teaching Ministries in, uh, I'm in New Jersey. So this is where our ministry is. Um, we have, um, um, as far as my artistry is concerned, I, I've been singing for almost two decades now. Um, wow. That's when I discovered my, my gift of songs. Um, but as far as um, the commercial aspects, that's just been four years ago just four years ago. I'm very passionate about the Lord Jesus because um, he is the only bridegroom who paid the bride price with his, with his very blood. Nobody does that. So I'm very excited about Jesus. I'm very excited about him. So my ministry or my, my calling is simply to reveal the heart of, of the father to his, his children that he so loved and he so loves and died for. And also I'm expressing the beauty of, of Christ through my songs. I, I consider, I've been saying, I consider myself as a preacher um, who is just spreading Christ, spreading the gospel of Christ, spreading the, the good news through my gifts of songs. So if you follow my songs, I always stay on scripture, I'm always on the scriptures. The my, my songs are all themes of the Bible, uh, because I love the Word of God very much. My encounter with the Word of God is why I am still here. I've been transformed by the Word of God, and I want others to experience what I have experienced, and that's what I'm all about: spreading the beauty of Christ every opportunity I have. Okay, Maureen. Um, in a nutshell, that's Maureen is, yeah. Okay, that's good to hear. But you, like you, you mentioned, you've been doing this for a while. How have New Jersey accepted you and how has Ghana also accepted you so far? Um, so as far as recognition is concerned, as we all know, it takes time. Right. It takes time. So I have to keep going. In, in New Jersey, um, you know, we have the Ghanaian community, you know, that uh, quite conversant with me and um, as far as Ghana is concerned that is why I was in Ghana last year I came to Ghana last year I came to perform on Trek um, okay. the resurrection effect last year and I right. also did some promotions um, it takes time with the recognition and I think that by the grace of God we are you know I'm, I'm, I'm getting there I'm getting there it's just a matter of just continuing 
uh, being steady. And that's what we are doing. Okay. Before we come to your latest project, Hallelujah, let's talk about your song, uh, Your Goodness. How did you get that message? And did it go as far as you expected the song to go? It didn't impart any lives at all? Um, as far as how, so how did I get the song? Yeah. I My inspirations normally come, um, I, I won't say that I was in a room praying and that happened. No, I, I'm, I'm one individual who lives very conscious of the presence of God. So anytime at any place, I can receive a song from the Lord. I can be inspired, you know, to write, to write a song, but I, I was particularly, um, meditating on the goodness of the Lord in my life and the lives of other people around me. One of the things I found very moving is I have a very good friend who literally grew up in SOS, um, is an orphan, but she gave her life to Christ at a very early age as a teenager. Mm -hmm. wow. And I saw the goodness of God in her life. Like, like I can't, words cannot even like, explain it. It was through her actually that I got to, you know, I gave my life to Christ. I have a, a Catholic background, wow. you know, it was through her that I gave my life to Christ because I saw the favor of God in her life. And I thought to myself, wow, if, you know, if God, you can do this for anyone, then I, I believe you can do this, that you can do this for me too. Then right. here I am and just, just take my life and, and do whatever with it. And God has been faithful. God yeah. has been faithful. God is so faithful. Um, you would never, you never will be put to shame, no matter the circumstances of life, when you are a child of God. Um, to be, a non-believer and a believer can be faced with the same situation, but it's always different for the believer. If you look at what Joseph went through, Joseph was going through a difficult time, but because of his relationship with God, you see how things turned out for him. Yeah. Even though he was going through the Potiphar's wife was lying on him and he was being thrown into jail, the Bible says that the favor of God was upon him and he was still prospering even in that situation. And um, my father had a very difficult upbringing, but I saw the glory of God. <laughs> I saw the goodness of God in his life. Um, I've, I have so many people around me. I've seen, I, I have a sister who lost a um, who lost a, a, a son and he, he died. He passed away in our arms. It was my dad and I who were taken into the hospital. And when it happened, it felt like the world had ended. I mean, I can't even imagine what it felt like for her. Because even for me, I thought that there was no point of living. It was so difficult. But when, yeah. I, when I look at how everybody has been able to pick themselves up and move on, it is the goodness of God. Yeah, that's it some just very that powerful no testimony right there. Us, yeah, Maureen, that's very yeah, uh, we, powerful we testimony. On, it's just the grace of God. Right. I mean, talking about how a young lady's life who was, you know, uh, changed and has been following Christ, changed you into becoming a Christian or, you know, being born again. It's powerful to hear among other testimonies that you're sharing. But we have to go briefly tell us about Hallelujah, uh, how you got the song and how it's going so far. So we take leave of you. Okay, so Hallelujah was inspired by the many experiences, personal experiences that I've had with the Lord, where I was in, um, I was in a difficult situation and wasn't sure what to do. But then the only thing I knew to do was to lift up praise unto the Lord, because for a very long time I was always meditating on Second Chronicles um, twenty. And I, I was always reading those scriptures. If I didn't read that, I would I would go ahead and read uh, Romans 8. I remember for a long time I was living there and uh, God spoke to me. And little did I know that there were some challenges that were about to come my way. So I learned that it was totally embedded in me that anytime I'm faced with a difficult situation, the best way to go is to lift up praise unto the Lord, not necessarily calling this, calling that person, um, but rather to just seek the Lord, just go into his presence and lift him up. And anytime I've done that, I have seen, um, I've received direction. First of all, the peace of God comes over me. I exactly, I, I immediately will know exactly what to do, who to talk to. Um, awesome. Even if it doesn't happen right away, the peace of God floods my heart so that 
I, I'm at peace and I can see clearly. You know, when you are disturbed, when you are confused, when you are full of worries and anxieties, you are unable to hear from God. You're unable to see what God is trying to show you, the way that he's trying to show you to follow. So I've learned that and I want that to be everybody else's experience that when, you, when you're going through a difficult um, situation, that is the best time to lift up a song onto the Lord, to just mm -hmm. praise the Lord. It doesn't have to be music, but just praising the Lord, singing right. the hallelujah unto him, blessing him. That is a sign of faith that tells him that you trust him and he will come through. Right. Very powerful revelation right there. And we hope that hallelujah will go far and impart lives as well. That was Maureen Binayam there, an award-winning gospel musician. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Right. Okay. So that'll be it with Maureen Biniam. Uh, yes. We'd have to move uh, to other like, things, right? Yeah. Why are you pointing your hands at somebody when she said, oh, pastor's <laughs> wife? Oh, yeah. she's ah. a pastor's wife? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> I'm hearing this for the first time. Right. But... Same here. <laughs> I've never heard that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs>